there. If you've been around the fig tree for very long, you probably know about our monthly scripture cultivations. And this month, we're exploring the profound power of quietude and stillness. It's often in the serene embrace of silence that we're best able to hear God. This video will be a bonus cultivation idea where I'm sharing a brand new tool for your Bible caddy. And if you're new to the fig tree and you're not sure what a Bible caddy is, well, I'll drop a link to another video down below that will explain that for you. But for now, let me get back to that new tool. So over the years, I crafted a method of journaling that has helped me get so much more out of my moments with God. And I don't journal every day, but when I do, the impact is huge. So in my journaling, there are actually three parts to it, but today we're gonna talk about only one, and it's something that I like to call whispers. If you think about whispers, they're soft and quiet, and they're often brief, but they're always meant just for you. They're the delicate thoughts, the seemingly random words or phrases that God places in your spirit, waiting for you to continue the conversation. It could be something that your pastor said, or a lyric from a song, a curious phrase in scripture, or simply a random thought that tugs at your heart. I jot these whispered treasures in a special section of my journal. And if I don't have my journal handy, I'll just quickly type it into the notes app on my phone. But either way, the goal is to be able to revisit them later during my quiet time. They are an invaluable resource when you want to spend some intentional time with God, but you don't know where to start. You don't know what to read. You don't know what to do. So here's an example. The phrase, wings like eagles in that verse. It just seemed like such a curious phrase and it stuck out to me. And I remember thinking, why would God use that phrase? And so I jotted that down in my whisper section. And then later I took some time to really dig into understanding it. And since the phrase comes from scripture, there are lots of ways to explore it. You can read the verse in context. You can do a study of the word. You can check out the footnotes and the cross references. And most importantly, always we can ask him about it. If it's a song lyric or something someone said, I might also pull out the actual dictionary or other tools to help me understand what God might be trying to say through that lyric or phrase or whatever it is. So over time, your journal, particularly this section of your journal, becomes a treasure trove of conversation starters for your time with God. And you'll know that they're divinely inspired and really great conversation starters because God planted the seed when he whispered them to you in the first place. That makes them the perfect starting point for any of your quiet times. If you're new to the fig tree and you're not quite sure what scripture cultivations are, well, think of them as more than just a typical scripture reading list or scripture writing list. Here at Beneath the Fig Tree, my ultimate goal is to empower you to create a devotional life that truly resonates with you. So as your devotional guide or mentor or friend or whatever, my mission is to equip you with lots of different tools and ideas and inspiration so you can embark on an experimental journey to discover what resonates best with you during this season of your life and every other season of your life. So I'll drop a link in the description where you can learn more about scripture cultivations and some of the other things that we've talked about in this video. I'd also 
love to invite you to join us over in the Fix community. It's our Facebook group where there's just lots of fun things happening throughout the month. Um, I'll go live in there sometimes by myself, sometimes with a friend, and we'll cultivate things together. Um, it's a place where you can engage in conversation with lots of other people who are on a similar journey of exploring scripture cultivations, but also cultivating a devotional life that they really love and sharing our aha moments. And before I say goodbye, please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell thingy. Um, this way you will always be the first to know when a new video drops. And if it's really resonated with you, then I would love for you to consider sharing this video with somebody else that might also need some encouragement in their devotional life. All right, I'll see you soon, figs.